Okay, so we've created a list here. We've got a sidebar sign up form which is on every page. So let's go back to Aweber and we've selected the list. So let's do the follow up series and you'll see we've already got one. This was created when we set up the list. When you set up a list in Aweber, you are prompted to create a welcome email. And this is what this is. If we click on it, we'll see we kept it very simple. And there's a link to the incentive. There's a sentence saying, please get in touch if you need to, just by replying to this email. Obviously, we're saying we, we don't spam and you can unsubscribe at any time. And saying we'll get back to you and we will send other emails. And that's a very important point because this is what we're going to do now with our follow-up series because we are just going to send another one. So what we're going to do is create a follow-up and if we click on this arrow here, you'll see you have a few options. I do prefer sending emails that look as normal as possible, like the emails you receive every day from other people. So I would advise you to use the drag and drop email builder, or what we can do is just simply copy the previous one and edit the text here. So we start with the title, of course, and this editor works like the text editor in WordPress or any other text editor and you can just type some stuff in there. Okay, so I've written the email, and as I say, the text editor works in the way you'd expect it to. So if I highlight that text there, and click the link icon, I can paste in a link there. It validates the link, and just click off it, and there you set your link. So if we scroll down, we'll click Save, and Next. Okay, so this is quite an important page here because you see that this is the second responder or follow-up email and it has 999 here for the days after the previous message. Now we want it sent out about four days after the previous message but you've got to be very careful because this email is going to be sent out now to everyone on your list who has subscribed before four days ago. So this list has been collecting email addresses for a couple of weeks, a couple of months now. So I've got to remember when I save this autoresponder, it's going to be sent out to some of my subscribers, or most of them, really. The only subscribers it's not going to be sent out to are the ones that have subscribed in the last four days. So you can see you have uh, an option here that you can specify a day and time for it to be sent out, so you might like to avoid the weekend, or you could just keep that turned off. But when you do, you've got to remember, when you press save and exit, then that email is going to go out. So we'll keep track clicks on website links to this message, and we'll save and exit. Okay, so that's gone. I've pressed save and exit on that, and within about a minute, that email went off. Here it is, you can see that 38.7% of the subscribers opened it as opposed to 58.1% that opened the welcome email. And here is the email, as you can see, looking very like it did on the text editor. There's no restrictions on the amount of follow-up emails you can have, and you can send them four days, five days, ten days, with all sorts of intervals between them. You can fill this follow-up series with extremely useful emails giving great information to your target audience interspersed with offers for your products. And that sort of approach works very well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, how to send follow-up emails in Aweber. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.